Hello everyone and welcome to Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. to all of you and welcome to the 2023 Crafting for the Holidays series of premieres. I hope you're enjoying all the videos and the amazing creators that have brought them out to you. I also wish you a speedy recovery from that gastric coma. I'm sure we're all suffering during the last couple of weeks. This is the time and season for all of that amazing food and as I said, you know, gastric coma always follows along. <laughs> So too bad that food has calories. But anyway, that's a whole different story. Today is December 26th. Yes, that means it's Boxing Day. For all you Canadians out there that are going to be shop, shop until you drop, I hope you have fun. So just in case you don't know what Boxing Day is, Boxing Day is similar or can be compared to the United States Black Friday. You know, get up at the butt crack of dawn. Get yourself dressed up in some warm clothes, head out to that store two to three hours before it opens, stand in line, and freeze your tush off to get that really good special deal. I did this a few years ago. Actually, it's about seven years ago. Me, my husband, and our two boys, we decided we were going to go Boxing Day. They got some extra Christmas money so that they can go out and spend and buy what they wanted. And we decided to take him to Best Buy. So my husband looked it up, found out that they opened up at six o'clock in the morning, and he told me, he says, you know what, you're gonna to have to get up really early, and I'm not a morning person, guys. Don't even talk to me until I at least have a, a cup of coffee or two. So when he told me I had to get up, I'm like, are you serious? He goes, oh yeah, you have to get up really early. So I figured, well, the store opens at 6, we'll probably get up at 5, get out there at 5.30, and, you know, be in the store for about 15, 20 minutes. Uh, no. No, 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 no. He got me up at 4 o'clock in the morning, got the boys up at 4.15, we were in the car by 4.30, and all I can think of is, oh my gosh, anyone that goes Boxing Day sale shopping is crazy. This is nuts to get up this early in the morning. But as we were driving to the store, I noticed there was hardly any cars out. And I'm looking at my husband thinking to myself, you must be lying to me because I don't see any cars. You know, it seems to be very calm. And as we're approaching Best Buy's parking lot is when my mouth dropped open and I'm like, what in the world? The parking lot was at least 70% Full. I'm like, these people are crazy. My husband looks at me and he goes, mm hmm. <laughs> so, anyway, we get into the parking lot and I, I was hoping that we could sit in the car and wait. No, uh, because the lineup for the store was wrapped around four other stores going alongside one of the stores and going around the back of the building. Now these are box stores, they're not actually in the mall, so that means you have to stand out in the freezing cold weather. The weather that day was minus 26 Celsius. Okay, so I'm not sure what that was in Fahrenheit, but it was minus 26 without the wind chill. Sorry, rain's gonna move. Um, yes, baby girl. And with the wind chill, it was minus 29. You know, it's kind of like that weather where you go out and you feel like icicles are forming outside your nostrils, your eyes are starting to free shut, and your ears hurt. Yeah, it was that cold. 
Anyway, uh, we ended up standing in line for about an hour and a half before the store opened. And the store only allowed 100 people in the store during any given time. Now, I have to give Best Buy credit because they got people in and out of that store really quick. We got in the store within 35 minutes, I believe. We were out of the store in 20 minutes. And I remember getting in the car thinking to myself, wow, these people are nuts. Of course, I was one of them. <laughs> and um, as we were driving out of the parking lot, I noticed that the line was completely around the building. I was like, these people are crazy. For those Canadians that are going out shopping till they're dropping, from the bottom of my heart, I wish you luck. And I'm glad it's you and not me. <laughs> Personally, I would rather just do my shopping online. <laughs> anyway, with that, me and Rain have a really special video to share with you as she's not looking at, she's camera shy, guys. I'm really sorry. Um, we have a special video for you. We're going to show you how to make amazing centerpieces for any occasion, any event, and any room in your home. With that, grab a cup of coffee and let's head into the kitchen. All right, everyone, we're in the kitchen and I'm going to be showing you all of the items that I'm going to be using for these amazing centerpieces. And as I said before in the intro, that these centerpieces can be used for any event or occasion. They are perfect for any room in your house. And we're going to be creating three centerpieces. They're going to be holiday or Christmas themed. They're really easy to make. They're really fun to make. And they can be very budget friendly, depending on the quality of the products that you're going to be using. So while I'm putting these together, I will tell you where I purchased them and how much I paid for them. Some of the items I will let you know you may not want to skimp on because some of these items may break while you're working on them. So as I work on them, I will let you know where I purchased them and how much I paid for them. Now this is the first one I'm going to be working on and this is a large vase. I already have the rocks put inside because they were a little bit more difficult to dry out. And the reason why I say that is when you're getting ready to do your centerpiece, you wanna make sure that everything is clean and rinsed off really well. So the rocks that I have in here, they're silver gravel. I'll just bring out some of it here. And I couldn't get them to dry very quickly. So let's bring some out here. They're sticking all over my hand, sorry. But they are a filler gravel. They're silver in color. And with these, you do want to rinse them because you want to make sure you get all the dust particles out of them. There we go. Now, because these didn't dry as quickly as I was hoping they would, I'm going to try to smooth them out a bit before I start. There we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try. Now, I'm saying this because I've never worked with this before and I can't guarantee how it's going to turn out. But I'm going to try and work with fairy lights. Um, as I said before, I've not worked with these before and I don't know how cooperative they're going to be. So I'm going to put the fairy lights inside the vase and I'm going to try and see if I can get them to spread out just a little bit. There we go. Now my goal is to have the fairy lights slowly come up the vase, but as I said, that's my goal. I don't know if it's really going to happen. Now, the fairy lights I got through Amazon, and they were a pair for $29.95. The seller claims that they're waterproof. We shall see. I have not tested that out. So I'm not 100% sure, but it does claim that they are waterproof. And apparently the colors change. So we'll see about that as well. 
And the centerpiece is going to be with white and blue pearls. Bring these up so that you can see them. And also some bluish or a multiple color of blue snowflakes. Another thing that you're going to need is these are called filler crystals. So you're going to be putting those in as well. I got the snowflakes, the pearls, and um, the gel beads, and I'll show you those in a minute, as a package deal through Amazon. And I believe I paid $14.95 for the whole kit. And, oops, pearls are running away. Just put them off to the side for now. And the filler gems I got from the dollar store, and I believe I paid $2 for two containers. Okay, now the filler rock that I have down below, or the crushed color of rock, I also got from the dollar store, and I paid $2.25 I used the entire bottle to fill the bottom and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding the decorations in all of this. Now again not working with these fairy lights before this is going to be a bit of a feat I think. So I'm going to add some of the filler um, crystal beads here and these are just going to come here in the bottom. Now. I'm kind of hoping to use them as weights for the fairy lights, but as I said, I want the fairy lights to kind of come up in the boss. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can get this to do what I want it to do. Okay. Try to make these fairy lights expand just a little bit. And now that I've got that down, I'm going to take some of the water beads and we're going to put them in here. You can purchase water beads two separate ways. You can either get them dehydrated, which will look like this. And they look like little teeny tiny pearls. Or you can get them hydrated and they actually look like this. And I hope my camera's focusing in on that. So the dehydrated water beads are going to be less expensive because there's some prep work involved with the water beads. If you want to get them hydrated, be prepared. They're going to be a bit pricey. So the water beads I got from Amazon, I believe I paid $8.95 for this big bag. And I got the hydrated ones from Michael's. And again, you're going to pay a little bit more, and I believe I paid somewhere around $16.95 for this big jug. This big jug is not going to be enough for this centerpiece, so it's better to get the dehydrated ones. Yes, there's some prep time to it, but it's going to save you money in the long run. You can get the water beads in different colors, so um, you can get them in dehydrated or hydrated. So here is a version of the hydrated ones and you really can't see them. Well, yeah, I guess you can. Sorry about the glare again, but um, you can get them in different colors. But again, I would highly recommend that you go with the dehydrated ones because it's cheaper and you get more for your money. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to start putting the water beads in the vase. Be careful with these because as these water beads, as you can see, they kind of bounce around. And when you're working with a smaller vase, they can actually hop out of the vase. So really be careful with those water beads. So we're going to start putting in some of the pearls. And for the base, I would like 
to start with the smaller ones. So I'm gonna put some of the medium and smaller pearls in. So let's get some. And you're just gonna place them randomly. Now, if you want to move them around a bit, you can. Like there. And then once you get them in there and you like the position that they're in, just put some more of the gel beads or the water beads. I keep calling them gel beads, sorry, um, to cover them up. Now, as I go forward with the uh, placement of all the decorations, I'm going to still work with these furry lights. I'm really hoping that they start to spread out. So now I'm going to put some of the bigger pearls in. Again, I'm going to try to separate them so that they don't get too close together. There. And I'm going to put a little bit more of the water bead in. That much more. And again, play with my fairy lights. There, I think I got that part done. Okay, so I'm going to move the pearls off to the side. Oh, here they are. <laughs> I swear I'm going blind. Got my glasses on, but I didn't see them over there. I'm going to pour these out, and I'm going to pick out a couple of snowflakes, and I'm going to put them in here. Okay, that one went flat, and I don't want it flat. Come on. There. Let's see. Let's put another small one about right here. This one a bit more. So a little bit more of the gel beads. Sorry, water beads. And... I'm going to put a few more pearls in. Try to there. Some more of the gel beads. Now the thing about the gel beads, or geez, water beads, is they are going to, see look at this one, tried to run off. <laughs> they will bounce around and you have to be, to a point you have to be kind of careful because unfortunately it can move some of your decorations. So you want to really kind of be careful when you're putting them down, or pouring them in I should say. So I'm going to put this one here. Oops, I'm going to put this one here, um, I think I'm going to put, no, I'm going to put a little bit more of these in here. Now again, be very careful uh, when you're placing these because they will start moving the decorations. Okay, so as you can see with the hydrated ones, that entire jug only didn't even quite fill it up halfway. So here, if you see this bowl here, that is what I started hydrating about four hours ago and they're pretty good to go right now. So where's my other jug? Here it is. So again, I want to adjust my fairy lights, but I'm going to try to be a bit careful now because we already have some of the de decorations already in and I don't want to pull too much because it'll pull on the decorations and cause some havoc. So I'm just going to try 
and get these fairy lights to somewhat cooperate with me. Okay, we'll just go with it. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna put some more of the gel beads, water beads in. Jesus, I can't believe I keep saying that. Uh, it gently in here. I think I'm pretty safe now with the decorations. Okay. And hopefully these fairy lights are starting to, yeah, they're starting to work out a little bit better. Okay, so we're going to put some more of the medium and small. Oops pearls in. And, you know, while you're working on this, you can move these pearls in any direction you want. Even when you start filling it up with water, you can move these around. So I will show you how to do that as well. There we go. And we're gonna put some more water beads in. Can't believe I actually said that right. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to manipulate the fairy lights a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to put in some more snowflakes. Now, if your decorations start to tilt, you can always use toothpicks to keep them upright until you put the uh, water beads over that level and then take some tweezers and pull out the, the toothpicks. The toothpicks will help support them. But I'm hoping I won't need them for this. Looks like everything is pretty much stain stable other than this one here, there. So again, pour the water beads over your decorations. Okay. And now I'm gonna put in a couple of the larger pearls. going to put some smaller snowflakes right in between. Okay. And put some more water beads in. So there's two containers. So those two containers didn't even fill up this this vase. So that is why I made some more water beads. Now, believe it or not, guys, that is one tablespoon of these little pea-like beads. This is one tablespoon. That is what one tablespoon and two cups of water will make. So you really don't need to use a whole lot. Now because um, I don't have this in a container like I had the other two in, 
I'm just going to put them in with my hand. They are very slimy, I'm going to be honest. And they do have a mind of their own, just an FYI. It takes about four hours for these gel beads to swell all the way to capacity. There we go. So give yourself a lot of time when you're putting this together if you're doing it with the dehydrated gel beads or water beads. Sure, there I go again. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some more small snowflakes in. Okay, there. And I'm gonna put some more of the water beads. I'm just going to crimp the fairy lights. That's not going to be manipulating them anymore. Oops. One of them tried to run away. That's the reason why I got the towel here because I found that with the towel, if the water beads jump out, they won't go very far on the towel. <laughs> Thank God. Okay, so now I'm going to put in some more of the smaller and the medium sized pearls. And I'm just gonna randomly drop them in. Okay. All right. And we're gonna put some more gel beads in. Water beads, sorry, jeez. They just feel like gel to me. We're gonna put some more in, we're gonna cover them up. Okay. I noticed one of them tried to come out. And we're gonna put some more of the snowflakes in. some more of the smaller pearls in. Okay, so I'm not going to use these big ones. So I'm just going to put them back in the bag. And over here, wow, these ones really took off good. And that is all I'm going to put in. I'm going to put in some more of the water beads just to cover up the pearls that I put in there. Okay. I only have the water beads up to about an inch from the top. You don't want to overfill your vase with the water beads. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. Move these out of the way. Carefully put this off to the side. And then we're going to work on editing Janae here. Sorry about this guys, but my video ended up 
being a lot shorter than I expected. So we're going to insert this small unboxing. I'm really excited to be sharing this with you. This is actually a gift slash purchase. What I mean by that is my sister actually won a gift certificate to the store and she decided to give it to me. So in a sense, it's a gift and a purchase because I had to pay a little bit extra to um, get the one that I wanted. With that being said, what is it? This is a Firefly and I'm really excited to be opening this. I was going to do an unboxing for this in a couple of days, but I decided to go ahead and insert this into um, crafting for the holidays. As I said, my video was really short and I needed to put something in there. I think this would be a great opportunity to show you what I got. And let's go ahead and crack this open. I am in love with a variety of different trays and I have heard great things about this company. So when my sister gave me the gift card, I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> Hand it over. Um, I have not heard of them before until about a month ago. And as I said, I've heard really good things about them. So I'm really excited. Sorry, my hands are really shaky today. Uh, oh no, I already got that opened. Okay, I think I got that opened. And my hands are really shaky today and I'm not sure why. So I do apologize for things shaking if that's the case. Okay, so we have a goodie bag here. This is the tray. And I'm not sure what this is, we'll find out. But this is the tray here. Again, it comes from Firefly. And, and I'll have all that information linked down below in the description if you're interested in checking them out. Um, hmm, what is this? What is this? Let's take a look. Now, I ordered this approximately four weeks ago and I was actually quite surprised it got here before Christmas. I've been told that they're shipping, well, they actually don't make them until they're ordered. So they're made to order and it may take a little bit longer to wait. Okay. <laughs> and I thought I packed stuff crazy. <laughs> Well, I prefer them to be nice and protected. And if this is the way it works, that's great because I pack my stuff like this too. Okay. Boy, it just does not want to go though. Where's the end of this thing? All right. I'm going to try not to stab myself. There we go. that there and lots of tape <laughs> there we go oh what is that oh it's a cover minder look at this that there this is a really cool little cover minder and it's fitting because once you see the tray you're going to understand why I'm saying this is a fitting cover minder. It matches the tray. This is interesting. It only has one magnet. So they must have a magnet. Yeah, they have a magnet actually in the resin or whatever this is called. Look at that. Wow, this is cool. I like it. Okay, let's get into this. Try not to cut myself. There we go. Oh wow, that looks good. Ooh, look at this. Isn't that nice? This is the, um, oh, my sister loves the show. What is that called again? Um, <laughs> for some reason, Doctor Who. <laughs> 
Um, this is the, I, she calls it a specific name, but I guess it's like the, um, supposed to be like the phone booth that he jumps in to jump through time. You can tell I don't watch Doctor Who, but still, I thought this was quite cool. So, so let's take a tour of this tray and this is really, I really like it. Okay, sorry. So the lid comes off. And that's what it looks like right in there. Now I'm assuming that this is a garbage tray and this actually is to hold your time and painting pins in place. There you go. Nice. I don't want to do it too much to this side. I'm afraid the pin's going to fall out, but very nice. Now, oh. I noticed on the bottom there's a hole here where this was so let's put this back in and you'll see what I was looking at so there's a button there that says push and it drops your garbage collector from the tray itself nice touch nice now I'm trying to figure out what this is so, see what it does. Oh, it slides out, out to the side. Oh, okay. I get it. That is the drill stopper. So let's see if I can show it to you on the camera. So, see the hole there that keeps the drills from falling out? So when you want to pour the drills out, you just slide this to the side and there you go you want to keep your drills in you just slide it back there and of course my camera's like uh yeah no i'm not focusing there that is really really convenient look at that super nice love it so you can see what i mean by the little cover minder here, let me put the lid back on. The little cover minder matching the tray. Really, really nice. And I'm so sorry for the glare. There we go. Very beautiful color blue. Love it. This is more of a like super dark blue, almost like 939 compared to 823. <laughs> um, let's look through the goodie bag. and see what was sent. Okay. So we got a beautiful roll of washi tape. Isn't that pretty? We have some stickers. What does it say? Tis a good day to be happy. And this one says, no thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, interesting. Look at that. A very unhappy person. <laughs> and I'm hoping this is not going to be upside down for you guys. And it's actually, it's a good day to be happy, not tis. <laughs> I'm getting old and my eyes are doing some wacky things. I'm so sorry. I'm... Um, some zap now i haven't had one of these in a long time so this will be something i'll have to give to my husband because um yeah i found out last year that i was diabetic and yeah this is a big no-no <laughs> same with the sucker i'm pretty sure he'll love that <laughs> and then we have a thank you card here really nice and it says thank you for supporting my small business and Firefly, there is their business card. So if you're interested in taking a look, again, my camera is saying, mm, no, there we go. Taking a look at their store and their amazing trays, check them out. Again, Firefly, and that is, I think, Firefly.com. Um, they are not an Etsy store. Yeah, so it's info at 
it's so it's fireflyda.com and if you want to take a picture of the scan bar or scan box or whatever that's called go right ahead and it'll take you right over there super nice it says scan this code to visit our website yes all right so again guys firefly beautiful tray love it i'm going to try it out and see how i like it currently right now my favorite tray is the hinge trays uh but still stocking the etsy store because because she hasn't been on for quite some time and i'm really desperate for some trays but i'll tell you what this one is one that you need to check out with that let's get back to the original video let's go ahead and start now this one is the smaller of the three and i already have some gold crushed gravel on the bottom and i'm so sorry for that glare I'm trying to get it out there it goes and that is just going to be filler i'm also going to be putting some filler gems on the base and we've got some clears we got some aqua blues and I'm gonna put a few frosted ones in there be careful when you put these down because you don't want to crack the glass so I'm just push them down a little bit there couple more of the frosted ones there so let's talk about the vases first sorry I'm putting that right out of frame the vases you can get from the dollar store but to be honest if you're going to get the vases from the dollar store be prepared that the glass is super thin so you need to be very careful with the sizes that you get. This is a small size. I did get it from the dollar store and I believe I paid around $1.75 for this size vase. And you can see it's not very tall. Um, the medium size one was around $2.75, $3. And I bought the large one as well and I believe I paid around four dollars for that one here's the problem though as I said before the glass is fairly thin so you have to be really careful when you start putting your decorations in because the tall one you have to really get in there and what happened with the tall one is I ended up breaking the top portion or cracking it so I had to throw it away I figured that was a fluke, so I went back to the dollar store and picked up another one, and the same thing happened. And I thought, you know, I can't keep paying $4 for this vase to actually find one that's going to hold all the decorations. So I decided to get the tall one from Michaels. The vase from Michaels, the glass was twice as thick, and I just felt more confident that that glass wasn't going to crack or break as I'm putting it together. So when you're sitting down and deciding what you want to do with your centerpieces, make sure that you take in consideration the thickness of the glass. You wanna make sure that you're purchasing at a budget rate, yet not cutting yourself at the throat, having to keep buying more and more because that glass may break. So sometimes it's better to purchase something a little bit more expensive, especially for glass, than it is to go towards the cheap. Again, the small one and the medium one I got from the dollar store, but the tall one I got from Michaels, and that Voss cost $21.95, whereas these, again, you know, uh, $2.50, three bucks. Again, when you're really thinking about the vases, think about, are they gonna be sturdy enough for the decorations that I'm gonna be putting in them? So now that we've, so now that we've got the crushed colored gravel and the filler gems, and now we're gonna go ahead and start putting the water beads in. So I'm just gonna pour some here, like that. Oops. 
Um, and like I said, they have a mind of their own. So I'm going to put some of these mid-size pearls. Put that there, put that there. You can kind of move them around with your fingers as you go. Put some smaller ones in. Yeah, that one I think wants to have a party with that one. And I want to put some blue ones in here too. Okay, there. And I'm going to put one snowflake right in the center here. And I'm going to put one about right here. Okay, so now that we've got those in there, I'm just going to cover up the pearls and the two snowflakes. Now you're going to see that I'm going to stick, oops, try to stick my hand in there without the water beads here, oops, flopping around. And the reason for that is if you put them in loosely from the top, so if you just start, oops, dropping them in like this, that the water beads can actually move your decorations. And if you don't want them moved, you want to put them in slowly and gently. Okay. Now, once the water beads covers your decorations, you can have at it with these beads and just toss them in there because they're not going to move the uh, decorations, but if the decoration is exposed, you really do want to put them in slowly and gently. So we're going to put a few more snowflakes in. Try to get some of those water beads to support that. Put a big one in here. And put this one in here. Okay, and we're going to put in some small pearls. Like that. And now we're going to do some more water beads. And as I'm doing that, and here I'm telling you not to do that that way. Sorry about that. Put them in. And as I'm putting them in, you can see I'm trying to support those snowflakes so that they don't get um, moved around. Okay. Put some more in. If you hear barking, that's rain. She's telling me she wants in the house. <laughs> or somebody's walking by the house, <laughs> one of the two. She is a yapper. She likes to talk to everyone as they're walking past the house. Okay, I think. Put some more. Oop, there we go. Oh, oh. As I said, these little water beads are little hellions and they like to go everywhere, <laughs> unfortunately. So we're going to put some more of the pearls in. Oops, there. Oh, look at that. Just enough. Okay, so we've got all of the decorations in the vase, and we're just going to slowly put these beads in.
and you don't want to go too high with the water beads because you are going to be putting water into the vase to create that illusion that everything is floating in there. Okay, I think that's going to be enough. And as you can see, I still have lots of water beads left. Lots. So this is going to be interesting to see if I can dehydrate those. Oop. I knew there was one there. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start pouring water into the centerpiece. Should have this prepared before doing this, I'm sorry. And one thing I'm going to tell you is that you need to be very careful once you start pouring the water in. The reason for that is if you pour the water in too fast, it's going to create a lot of air bubbles in between those water beads. So if you have a measuring cup like this where it has a spout, pour it in really slow and you're not going to be 100% free of air bubbles, but it will eliminate the majority of them. So be prepared. You still will have some air bubbles, but just not as many. So again, you're going to pour this in really slow. And once the water starts getting in, all of the decorations and the water beads themselves will start to settle a little bit. You want to cover as much of the water beads as you can to get that illusion. All right. Now you're going to see some air bubbles coming up. That's what you want. Most of the time, air bubbles will come up on their own. But if you're impatient and don't want to wait, there's always a skew. Now you can use a skew, you can use um, chopsticks, anything that's long and not going to bend um, to go inside and you can start moving the air bubbles from the gel beads, or excuse me, water beads. <laughs> Okay, so there's really not much as far as I can see of the air bubbles in here. But we're just going to tap it a little bit. Oops. Like that. See if I got some more. There is some kind of in the center here. There. But the majority of them looks like they already came out. Floating candles. Again, something I got from Amazon. I paid $24.95 for floating candles. And you do stick them right in the center of the centerpiece there. And this will help push those water beads down just a little bit more. So I'm going to bring this up so that you can take a look and see what we've created. So again, this is called a floating centerpiece. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and put this on my fireplace mantle. Sorry about that. Camera had to catch up with me. Put this on the fireplace mantle and I will show you all three of these beautiful centerpieces with the fairy lights on in just a moment. Okay, everyone, so here are all three tiers of the floating centerpieces. The large one is the one that has the fairy lights in them. The one on the right of me looks like a train wreck. <laughs> I have to say, it didn't actually look like that when I finished it, but there were quite a few air bubbles and I was trying to manipulate those air bubbles out and unfortunately, yeah, turned it into a train wreck. So I'm gonna have to actually 
redo that one, but I'll do redo it later. I'm not going to do it right now. And then we've got this smaller one that we did on camera. So let's take a closer look, see how they look. Get my camera to zoom in. Now, as I said, that one with the Christmas tree inside, yeah, that looks like a train wreck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, let's get in there. And there they are. They look really good other than the Christmas tree that looks like, yeah, I don't know. It just doesn't look right. <laughs> well, the ornaments are all over the place. Um, let's go ahead and turn on the fairy lights so that you guys can see what they look like with the lights on. And there they are. Now, hopefully you can see the lights. You can kind of see them fading and fluttering in and out. So they are definitely 100% waterproof, thank God, because I was afraid we were going to have a disaster on our hands. Uh, with that, guys, though, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. I will have everything listed down below in the description for you if you're interested in putting one of these together. With that, I'm going to say thank you so much for coming by, watching the premieres. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and always stay happy. Again, my name's Janae. Thank you so much, and take care of yourselves. Happy holidays.